Like obviously, like if you start working in accounts, you you're, you can be here for a long time. So when I left school in sixth year, it was the first job that came up. So I applied for it and just I got it. Luckily, so I didn't know what glazing really was when I left school, but now nah, I'm glad I got into it. But it's a great employer to work for, actually. Um, they're very flexible, and in terms of you know childcare, uh, flexible working policies. Um, there's also other benefits. I love the cycle to work scheme. <laughs> I love. Uh, the flexi time. I love the commute to work. It's fantastic. I also love the fact that when you compare it to private practice, um, the work-life balance is so much better. So we work closely with different teams from everyone from IT. If we've got issues, we call the help desk and they're really friendly and responsive to um, our colleagues in social work and different agencies. Mm -hmm. And of course, we work really closely with schools. They're our main partners. I just feel like I'm making a difference in the community. And it's really good to just see that firsthand. I really enjoy that side of the comms because I feel like I'm putting, showing the council in a positive light and really talking about some really positive uh, projects and issues. The most enjoyable part of my job is definitely the community engagement side. So um, we have a lot of regulars that come in to use the library and we form pretty strong relationships with them so it can be uh, you know the, the way that we help and advise them can be anything from helping to choose books or just having a general chat. Well I work in the education department and they are really supportive and very grateful for what I do for them. I was interested in working for the council as my mum and dad both work with the East Lothian Council as well. I've seen the job advertised on My Job Scotland and was came to apply for it. I've been greatly supported by East Lothian Council. It's a very varied job, no two days are the same. Uh, I enjoy the people that I work with, um, I get on well with my colleagues. We get to work with all trades as well sometimes so we get a mix with other lads and then just a lot of opportunity that the job gives. I just don't feel like I'm treated like an intern. I feel like I'm treated like every other member of staff and I feel like now I could take on any workplace and I think I'd really thrive with all the skills I've learned at East Lothian Council. I enjoy the variety of my job immensely. Um, there's a huge variety of things that we can do so I love working with people and it sounds a bit of a cliche but actually I mean that's why I came into the profession to start with. When the job came up here 26 years ago um, I looked at it and thought it's too good an opportunity to miss. It's such a small council, so you pick up at the phone and you know who you're talking to. Um, you can build relationships with people really easily. I wanted to do an apprenticeship over going to college. I felt, felt like working and learning at, um, at work is much better than just going to college. And I felt I didn't realise how good uh, the council was actually to work for or with uh, until I started my apprenticeship. And that's when I realised that it's, it's a really good place to work. <laughs> We're doing projects for the community and, and that makes a huge difference. It is, a, it is extremely difficult at times uh, because the budgets are so pressurised, but it can be quite fulfilling as well. Certainly within my section I've always had managers who have um, wanted us to develop. There's loads of training that we, we get um, from the employer but we're also in charge of our own training programme so to speak so uh, there's mandatory and statutory training that we all get but if there's an area of need that we think that we'd like to develop in then we're able to ask for assistance to get on that training. When I drive out along the coast to North Berwick it's particularly nice and I must say I don't always drive very fast because I quite like to take my time because it's really beautiful and certainly I, it's got loads of really um, active communities and because we're involved in that I feel like I half live in the city and half live here. It's a great place to live and work, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm lucky enough in the, that I live in it as well as, as work in it so all that sort of countryside is on my doorstep even on my days off. I think because of the size, it being quite small, I've been here for um, nine years and I'm actually one of the newer members of our team so <laughs> I still feel quite new and I think that says a lot for kind of consistency and staff mm -hmm. longevity the fact that people want to stay in, in the council. I think the main benefit is just that working in local government there's just so many diverse opportunities every day is not every day is different and I've got to be able to speak to people on all different sides I think it's great, uh, the local government they're really supportive with your uh, learning and 
obviously the apprenticeship as well, you know, all the, the tools and facilities are there for you to learn more and they've got all the e-learning modules and it's, it's great for if you're still wanting to learn as well. Uh, the most I enjoy about my job is interacting with the kids, uh, working with a nice group of girls and again learning more stuff about being a kitchen assistant. Oh yeah, of course. Is that everything for you? No bother, thank you. What I enjoy most about my job is the environment in John Muir House and my work colleagues. Working in local government is really exciting and it's full of new opportunities and I've really enjoyed my time here. Sometimes the change is quite subtle and small that you make but it is there and you get the chance to work as part of a team and feel really supported which is really valuable.